Hey, how's it going everyone? So today is another video and this video is a follow-up to my uh, video that is doing pretty well on YouTube. It has about 3k plus views which is like uh, how to recover your how to recover your battle on that account if it gets hacked and so um, this video is going to be going over a lot of common questions that I get about this uh, about this topic and so we're just going to dive in and go into it all right <clears throat> another one I get a lot is like hey they hacked my account and they changed my email phone number everything associated with that account as I just mentioned you need to create a ticket so once you create a ticket uh, you need to clarify your situation and then they'll be able to understand like what happened and then they can help you so And then this was a big one, which is, uh, so this was from Vendex YouTube. Um, he said, I tried to log on to my Blizzard account. My email was already there and I typed it in the password. But every time it says I can't find my Blizzard account, it says try to make a new one. How to recover that account and my friend says that I'm still on the same level Overwatch. Haven't been online in like 20 days, what do I do? So we had a long thread on this one, so it's not really a common question. His is very specific. I just told him like, hey, you need to make like a ticket and uh, explain your situation. So he was very not sure of how to respond in a ticket. So I even provided him like kind of like a little like template of like you know how to ask about doing like creating the ticket he didn't know like what to put in the details so I kind of gave him like a generic response um, so then he can take that and then kind of get an idea of what to do next so I told him like so I showed like right here you know just say like hey my friend is unable to log into his Blizzard account so his friend is helping him recover his account so I don't know if that makes sense but he could have created a temporary account, but then instead he had his friend create um, a ticket for him to recover his account because his friend noticed like, hey, something's weird going on with your account. So um, I told him to put like, make sure you put in whatever the error message is in like air quotes and then make sure you, you know, you tried every single browser and um, just make sure like, you know, because in his situation, he knows his password and email, but it just won't log him in. So there, there has to be some sort of thing going on. So, um, his situation is very special. He was able to get his account back, which is great. So, you know, as long as you be patient, you can get your account back. All right, and then this one person is, um, so let's say someone buys something after they hack your account. So I have a YouTuber commented named Tui. Um, they said someone bought like something worth like $15 and they charged it to their PayPal account and they don't even know how they got access. Um, either way, he said there was like an a, a password request and they somehow got the code. So he actually has a two-factor setup. That's what it sounds like. And somehow he was able to get the code. So this is pretty scary because that means like he either guessed it multiple times and then got access. I don't know. It's a really strange one. But either way, he did get his account back. His solution was his friend entered um, a ticket and that is how he got his account back but he says now his account is banned and that is what i mentioned is that if your account is banned that means they're trying to protect your account so if your account does get banned just you got to wait a couple days before you get unbanned but you can still create another ticket for why your why your account is banned so um either way um this one was easily resolved within a week so good to know um, a lot of questions that I get is like what is the processing time 
or how long does it take? So I kind of mentioned this earlier. It really kind of like depends. Sometimes it could take like one hour, but that was like pre-COVID. But now, you know, after COVID, I would say processing time is probably within a day or maybe even up to a week. But I've also seen it take as long as two weeks. So, I don't know, it is what it is. And, you know, we just gotta be patient when, you know, you're trying to recover your account because um, they have limited staff. So we just gotta be aware of that and then just be patient. And so, you know, if you have any questions, as always, you know, leave them down in the comments below. Well, anyways, um, leave them down in the comments below. I always try to respond. If, even if you look at my last video, I responded pretty much to every single comment about like this situation. And, you know, as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more future videos if this like, you know, helped you at all. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys next time and hope this was helpful. Peace.